Welcome to this first Look Map Tour with me, Mr. Sealy P. Welcome to PGR Slierno. I think that's how you say it. This is a new map out onto consoles today from, I'm going to say Voyek. I think it is Voyek 12 and Mirio. Um, PGR, interesting, because I know there's PGR Brisdur and there's a few different maps out. Um, PGR, and I can't pronounce it because I just can't. Um, I'm going to put it up on the board what it stands for. And that means State Agricultural Farm. And the State Agricultural Farms in the People's Republic of Poland were created in 1949, just after the war, um, as a kind of socialist ownership. So people would own parts of the farms and you know run them themselves and kind of supposedly do all right from it. Um, but with the fall of the uh, fall of communism in Poland and the Market Economy Act in uh, October of 1991, a lot of them started to go bankrupt. Um, the state farms, a lot of them became uh, liquidated and the Agricultural Property Agency of the Treasury, a government run body, took over and a lot of the farms were sold off. Some of them just fell into disrepair um, and a bit of a pity really. But that's what this is, PGR Slierno is or was a state agricultural farm and you kind of get that feeling as you look around and walk around at the types of buildings and the kind of very ordered it's like a government run like a military camp kind of thing it gives you that kind of feeling um, anyway we start off facing south on the map and we'll have a quick look the main farm is right in the center right there in the center there are 22 fields and we start off with three of them we start off with 13 19 and 22 13 is just here quite a big field with corn in 19 over to the west and then 22 just north above the farm there a grass field i don't think we start with any others i'm pretty sure that's it there aren't many cell points on this map either but what there are are trains which we don't get too often on a lot of the maps <clears throat> so we'll have a look at all of that. Uh, we'll look around the farm first, and then we'll kind of. I'm not. I'm not, not going to do a clockwise run around this because that's quite hard to do on this. Um, what I'm going to do is whiz out to the livestock market, down to the store and the biogas, up to the northeast corner to look at the sell points there, um, and then I think the left hand side of the map, pretty much the left hand side of the map, um, I'm going to do by train. So there's yeah, there's a train tracks. I'll show you that in a minute. You'll see what I mean. Um, prices are pretty much standard nothing out of the ordinary um, I always say that simply because when I did law folds the law folds prices were really really high so you made a lot of money on law folds I haven't come across many maps since then that they have been they're all pretty much a standard price and they fluctuate but as you can see you've got Maplefield Mill is a sell point for the trains and then you've got Sudzuka Polska down the bottom that's on the left hand portion of the map the um, western side that's also I think on the train line as far as I'm aware um, we don't start with any animals and livestock but they are all available and there are a few interesting things to be looking out for oh yeah that was our thing vehicles we start with quite a lot we start with four tractors New Holland 8340 Zetor Fulterra Deutzfahr Agristar and a Case 1455 various different front loader attachments Case 1660 um, harvester and header, two Metaltech DB8 trailers, uh, plow, cultivator, couple of seeders, three meter ones, uh, fertilizer spreader, fertilizer sprayer, some weights, various mowing equipment and equipment for making hay and a loading wagon, round bale trailer which is quite handy, you don't often start with something like that, and a round baler, the pickup, you also start with some um, conveyor belts which is pretty handy. Um, I think the concept behind this being because it's a Polish map and also I found online um, on Google Maps I found a village called Slierno and it's in northeastern Poland I'm assuming that's the place it's kind of modelled on um, and there are I think there's a Seasons Geo which is Poland isn't it I think there is um, this is seasons compatible and I have checked before this the snow mask seems to be in operation there was no snow in any of the barns that I could come across um, 
so as far as I know that's all working perfectly so what we're going to do is we're going to start by going around the yard I'm going to go in the pickup simply because it's a little bit easier um, if we come around the side this way there are two or three different entrances exits whichever way you want to look at it out of the main yard and a lot of these barns the doors all open there's not necessarily things in them all yet but a lot of the doors open a lot of the barns there's loads of storage space you're not going to have any shortage of space for storing vehicles with light switches i think in most of them although that can often happen because the light switch is so close to the door um so as we come around this bottom section here we've got some of our vehicles parked up three of the tractors there and the harvester they're dotted around the main yard like i said i'm not going to go around opening all the barn doors a lot of them open not all of them but a lot of them do but you've got that that kind of you can tell that eastern european like big concrete slabs flat kind of blocks laid out neatly it's yeah i don't know it just has that feel uh, round baler and round bale collector and as we move around the bottom part of the yard here we come to the first of our livestock this is the sheep so if you want to <coughs> buy directly or load and unload this is the point here yes it is for sheep <laughs> at least i got that right um this i believe because i couldn't work out any other reason for this i think is where the wool pallets spawn just here under this shelter if we come round to the side it looks a bit bare and barren doesn't it round to this side we've got our water trough for the sheep and then inside the barn here is the feed trough just there so that's your sheep I get the feeling it's all very functional it's designed it's there for a purpose it's not supposed to be aesthetically pleasing you know it's that concept that kind of communist idea of you know it's not about um, looking fancy it's not a lot about you know whether it is aesthetically pleasing it's got its fu function and form and does it serve a purpose if it doesn't it's no good you know get rid of it um, the New Holland is just over there with various different bits of equipment and then we come round to the bottom here and we've got the loading wagon nice big drive through barn there massive plenty more barn space and a lot of the uh, hay making equipment is just there as we come up the left hand side of the main yard towards where the cows are or will be or could be it's a little turn out here which takes you out to kind of like the rail yard if you want to call it that and we've got over here is all the conveyors and i get the feeling one of these trains um has got root crop on the front and a log um trailer uh carriage um on it and that's because on this side of the map on the eastern side there's a forest up the top right hand corner the northeast so i'm assuming that's why it's got the lumber uh carriage on there car whatever you want to call it a couple of root crop then we've got our grain and various different ones here the other train the other side is mostly i say mostly i think all the carriages on this one are all root crop ones and i get the impression because you've got the pallet thing here for palletizing root crops potatoes and uh sugar beet that that's what it's designed to do um it's kind of that side of the map you've got a cell point over is it top that top no, northwest i think it is um for root crops and we'll have a look at it in a minute but there you go this is where your conveyor belts are so uh and i, I like i don't know it's, it's quite flat it's it, I mean, to be fair it's pretty flat across the whole map but there are some really nice details little clusters of trees dotted about all over the place nice little tracks and roadways going diagonally across fields and it, it does it does have a really good feel to it a real nice kind of look and i have struggled though i'll be honest with you to find the triggers there we go for some of the gates but that wasn't too bad so facing north and as we come round this side of the yard we have got our load unload or purchase point for cows that's just here there is a trough here but i don't think that serves a purpose because the trough over here which i assume is the water trough looks like a water trough has got the hazard markings here so i think that's the water trough um you've got your slurry tank just here 
Now the manure, I don't know where that spawns, and I don't know whether it spawns or whether you've got to muck them out. That I'm not 100% certain of. And the other bit that's a little bit tricky here is that bit directly ahead is like the milking parlour, which obviously on console we, we can't milk them, we can't deliver milk ourselves. We've got a part of the, the uh, cow shed that side and part of the cow shed this side. Both of them are the same, they're kind of symmetrical. They both have troughs. Now I don't know if they're both feed troughs, or whether one's a feed trough and one is for the bedding, or whether you do feed one end and bed in the other, I'm not too sure, but I would assume that you're going to have to put the bedding and feed into one side or the other, or both, I don't know, because as we come across the other side, it looks exactly the same, so um, I'm assuming, yeah, it, it's not particularly clear you often get sometimes on a map you'll have a bit of straw left on the ground to kind of give that indication this is where it's going to go but there isn't anything like that on here so that is just an assumption on my part um i hope i am right but i could be wrong on that and like i say there's no kind of manure place you know where you often get it spawns so i don't know if you have to muck them out and find somewhere to put it yourself not too sure on that so just north of the cows we then come on to the pigs which is just here so if you're going to buy directly or load or unload you're going to do that in this box here and then we come over to the side here we've got the water trough and as far as i'm aware inside the barn i like the fact you've got this track that runs up here and the gates are here so the pigs can go backwards and forwards but then you can close the gates or open them depending on how you look at it the other way so you can get through with vehicles that's a nice touch um i think it might have been here let's have a look ah oh, this is the other one that was a little bit confusing now there isn't a hazard mark box along this side and this is a long shed but along these ones here as you can see what i was talking about you've got bits of straw on the floor so i don't know whether the pig's bedding goes this end again this is just an assumption i'm not 100 percent certain but this end here, you've got a hazard mark box, which I'm assuming will be for the um, for the feed. Now, it could be the feed and the straw go in the same place. Like I say, I don't know. This is the only hazard mark box in this building. So I'm assuming, again, that this is for the feed. And if you look in this one here, there's no straw or anything on the floor. But further down there is. So again, that's going to be a bit of a you know have a try with it and see what happens i think because I, I haven't really like i say come across anything else i was i was looking to see if there was something on the ground maybe out here you put it into one of these sections but there's nothing obvious is, is basically what i'm saying so um so that's all your animals that's your animals at the main farm so as we continue our kind of clockwise walk around or drive and, and walk around the main yard um Obviously, that's going to be a slurry from your pigs. Oh, that could be here, I suppose, is where you might put your... Uh... So maybe you have to manually muck out. That seems like a big old concrete area, doesn't it? Um, again, plenty of barns to open. I think this one opens. Let's check. Yep. Now, as far as seed and fertiliser go for the main yard, that's this building just here. So we're facing east on the map. And if I open these doors here and here you've got the hazard mark boxes on the floor this side has got the cedar in or a couple of cedars in and seed here and this side has got the fertilizer spreader and sprayer in um, and you just have to kind of jiggle around a little bit in this box until you get the trigger come up say refill so that's your fertilizer and that's your seed and as far as water goes that's just around here there's a little hydrant i did try with the trailer a water trailer um, and I couldn't get free water from any of the water sources around here so I'm assuming you just have to get it from the hydrant um, just there now one thing in the yard that did puzzle me or excited me then puzzled me was that you have fuel in fuel out and I thought nice a little bit like on Sussex farm you'll be able to buy fuel and then sell it maybe so I very very quickly leased um, a fuel tanker bought that over filled it but no it was not to be this box here was simply for refilling the tanker it did not give me an option at any point to sell which is a pity uh, and that was a kind of a bit of a i say whether it's misleading i don't know whether on the pc version you can that could be possible 
um, often you find those conversions over from PC to console some of the functionality is lost because obviously there's certain things we can't do on consoles at the moment so that's the main yard pretty much that's all of the animals where most of the vehicles are again you can have a bit of a search around and have a look and see what you think and um, what I'm going to do is jump in the uh, train and do the western side of the map first oh there you go there's your two db8s parked up just there plow and stuff I left that running didn't I oh actually when you do spawn your cows as well just thought I'd mention that when you get your cows um, this goes under the rail uh, road rail line railway just here and you've got a cow pasture out past here as well so if you do buy them directly and you come into here and can't work out where they are it could be because they're down in that field there so don't go back to the box and start buying more panicking thinking you haven't got any it might well be that they're just um, they're just in the other field so what we'll do is we'll jump over this one here and this is the one that's got my, all root crop cars on it I'll come right out now the western side of the map apart from the fields and the fields are, are a fair size that's the, the cow pasture just there to the left there are big they're big fields in this map really big fields like I say the details of this tracks and roads and all sorts of stuff it's, it's really nicely detailed there's enough on here to make it interesting but not so much that it's it kind of you think no uh, it's a bit cluttered is that a bunker silo over there it looks like a bunker silo just off that road there oh that's a point when we get back to the main yard I need to show you the bunker silos for silage aren't by the cows which is where you would normally expect them to be um, it's actually um, over in one of the corners of the yard so I need to show you that um, again just in case you're wondering I like the fact that as we come up here and we're going to go left down the western side of the map it kind of gives you that impression that um, there's lots of railway lines that lead all over the place and off from this area this farm is, is sending crops and things off all over the place um, rather than just a train line or a circuit you've got all these kind of sidings and bits and bobs that kind of give you that impression and I like that, I think that's really cool obviously you can't use any of them but it's there and it looks nice Mind the wall. Now, oh, I've just gone past it. Uh, so this is Sudzuka, I think it is. Sudzuka Polska, and we are in the very northwest corner of the map. I just went past it. And that's just here. I think that's the cell point. From what I can it's quite hard to tell on the map. But if we go to the northwest corner of the map, right up here, uh, it's right here. I mean, the rail line kind of runs around the side here, um, so I'm, I'm I think I'm right in, in that that's the cell point. And if we come round into the rail yard, I think I went the wrong way. Never mind. Oh blimey! Yeah, we've got I think the cell point here. It's, it's difficult to tell because often with these when you've got a cell point on the rail line you'll have a load and unload point and you have like a storage facility and then you've got a cell point too this just has those two hazard boxes and I think because you've got one here which means you can bring vehicles off the fields and sell here or if you've brought your crops from elsewhere on the map you can bring them here um, and I think because if we look into the cell thing here on Sudzuka Polska down the bottom the only thing you can sell here is sugar beet and sugar cane but interestingly the other root crops sell, uh, sell point which is what's called mostery you can only do potatoes and sugar beet so one of them you can only do potatoes the other one you can only do sugar cane but at both you can do sugar beet so it kind of you have to go to both at some point I don't think any of these open no they're very big imposing buildings you can imagine them being you know filled with grain and various different things to go out and be shared equally amongst the population so back onto the train 
And off we go again. So we are heading down the western side of the map now. I'm going to jump from here to the next point because it's quite a long way down this western side of the map, as you can see, and there's nothing down that side. It gets a little bit glitchy this corner, I don't know why, but I do love this little bit here with the water mill and it looks fantastic. It's really, really good. But we need to slow down a little bit now because we're getting to the next sail point and this is down as Mostery and I looked up online to try and find a Polish English translation and I couldn't find anything it didn't come up with anything it may have just been the translator I was using I don't know um, but um, this is the other root crop sail point and now this can't be done from the train this is a purely road one I think although you've got this strange kind of concrete culvert thing here there's no hazard markings to show it as a sail point here but um, as far as I'm aware, it's just out here. And the cell point, I believe, is round. Where is it? Look at the map. There we go. So this is Mostery. So this is the other root crop cell point. Just here. Back to the train. Still so much to see. Now I'm not going to go on the train on the eastern side of the map. Um, the, the train circuit is a little bit different on that one. And it is interesting, it's cool, but that'll be something for you guys to have a look at. I'm going to do the eastern side of it um, in a tractor because there are more of the sail points and stuff on that side of the map. Now I'm going to slow down here, and this is peculiar. Because if you look at the map in the bottom left hand corner, it might be a little bit small to see at the moment. It just shows a building on here. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. And if I go into the, the sort of main map and have a look, we've got all the various different cell points. Then down the bottom here, there's nothing marked on here. You've just got this building kind of by this crossroads here. Now, I'm assuming that's just an error because... <laughs> oh dear, we're doing it. Because... This, I believe, is the sawmill. I think. There are logs here. They're kind of wood and stuff piled up. But it's not marked on the map as sawmill. But there is a cell point if we go in here. Actually, that's... It's not on here either, is it? Sawmill doesn't give a anything on there bakery going no it's not on there but there's a hazard marked area here which I'm assuming is for logs and then over here you've got this kind of hazard strip tank like trough which I'm assuming is for wood chips so as you can tell already going around this map I'm making a lot of assumptions based on where things are and what they do I, I think that's what's here so what I could do hang on just a second Right, I've just bought a... Right, uh, collisions, I'm not sure... It's not a collision on that fence. I've just bought a chainsaw. Let's try something. Best way to test, really. Obviously can't test the wood chips, but I can definitely test this. Just chop the end off this. About there. I do the testing so you don't have to. So, a little bit jittery. If there's no collision on the fence, I should be right to get through there. There we go. Now, hopefully, then, if I'm right. Yep, there we go. So that just sold that. So that's that's the sell point for logs. This must be the sawmill, um, and I'm assuming then that's going to be for wood chips. There we go. Right, I'm not going to do the last little bit on the train. Like I say, I do like this kind of... The way the train comes back around onto here, and that feeling that that goes off to other destinations with other sidings, and... It's really cool. I like it. 
So, we're going to go back to the yard. And what I'm going to do very, very quickly... Actually, I'm going to do it in the pickup. There's no point doing it in the tractor. It's taking me forever. But like I say, the other train does the eastern side of the map. And I'll leave that for you to have a look at. You can whiz around to your heart's content in the train. If I go... Which way is it? I think it's this one. Yeah, the southern part of the ma uh, the farm. Interestingly and unusually for a, for a map, um, well, I think it is anyway. The bunker silos that you normally have where the cows are, because obviously if you're making TMR and stuff, they're not by the cows; they're down here. So this bottom corner, the uh, southeast corner of the main farm complex, you've got two bunker silos here, and I think one a little bit further along. Again, I could. Oh no, yeah, go. There's one there. So yeah, this is where the bunker silos are. So if you're not sure where you should put your chaff and grass and whatever it is you're going to put in there for making your silage for feeding your cows, this is where you need to make it. And according to going around the train just now, there's one out in the field as well, which is slightly unusual. Right. Um, what, what do I have to, I need to mention about the yard before I go in there? Oh yes, if you should get a vehicle stuck, if you should for any reason need to respawn a vehicle, um, when you respawn, it respawns back to the main yard. I think this bottom section, just kind of across that way, um, is where it respawns. It doesn't respawn back to the shop, it respawns here to the main yard. So what we're going to do now is head out of the farm itself. And one of our other cell points is just here, so we'll get to that very, very quickly. That's just going to be much quicker going in this. Which is just here. This fire hydrant just here, you can also get water from. More barn space. And your cell point is just here, right in front of you. This is the garden centre. What I still find quite interesting on in a lot of maps, when you get the garden centres, there seems to be some nice big placeable areas as well. You can put some silos and stuff if you wanted to. Oh, that's the thing I haven't checked. I need to check. Ah, that's odd. Top right-hand corner, storage capacity, zero. According to that, there is no farm silo. Do we not start with anything? Did I not even notice that? Oh no, everything's zero. Farm silo, nothing. We don't start with any crops whatsoever. Well, that's interesting. So these placeable areas then are going to become quite handy, aren't they? Because you're going to have to place... Well, that's a bit naughty though, isn't it? Because you're going to have to make some money to, to actually put some silos in before we do anything. I wonder if that's an oversight or uh, there you go. Storage capacity? Zero. Um, yeah, what I was going to say was that a lot of the garden centres don't seem to have seed and fertiliser purchase points, which is a bit unusual. I would have thought, you know, being a mind it's a, get gar a garden centre a garden centre blimey. So another little th point to note just to the bottom of the garden centre, the south of the garden centre you've got this field here this field here is walled in on three sides with a garden centre on this side. This, for all intents and purposes, is a free field. It's not numbered, doesn't belong to anyone. If we check again in the map and we have a look, the fields around it are all numbered. Field 10 has got crops in it, but this field here, nothing. So I'm assuming that's yours for the taking should you want it. And to be fair, you're probably going to need it. Now it's interesting as well, this map doesn't have very many, if any, small fields. I think field 19, 14 might be the smallest fields on this map. That you've got that kind of... You're going to be harvesting on a kind of an American map scale, but it being Eastern European. And I would, you know, the, th the point about it being, I think, everyone just assumes that American maps are the ones that give the big, open, wide spaces. Church bells cool. I like the little villages. Again, got a good feel. Now, I'm driving around. I haven't come across 
any gold nuggets again normally by accident you kind of stumble across one here or there or while you're driving around you see something glittering by the side of the road I haven't come across any um, I've parked back from this a little bit because I think most of the gates I've encountered so far open towards you so we are at the BGA McLean Biogas oddly enough but I like this because again we've got this kind of sweep down to the bunker silos it's a little bit different it's not just normal and ordinary and there's also no above ground digestate tank it's a below ground digestate tank which is just over here again quite cool like that um, anaerobic digester is here and if it's like most maps you're not going to be able to back up and tip out of a trailer with that that's just to give you a little bit easier access for wheel loaders tippers um, you know, that kind of thing so that's your bunker silo at the BGA I don't think that he's open I don't know could be wrong oh yeah I am wrong so if you've got wheel loaders and stuff you want to leave here if you like doing a lot of BGA type work and you like making silage and selling it you can leave your vehicles here then just to the side of here we have the store very unassuming um, if anyone knows what that means post it in the comments anyway so we've got our purchase point just here and we've got our selling or customization point just around the side here in this hazard box that's the store uh, field prices again oh isn't it weird there's co no collision on the one over at the sawmill but there is on this one odd anyway right uh, what have we got so whoa okay mind you 13.6 hectare field 1.1 million to buy um, like I say the big fields so you're going to need a fairly big machinery I guess unless you're unless you're a glutton for punishment and you want to do it all with three meter equipment and spend typical and um, spend hours and hours and hours just harvesting doesn't touch you whatever you want to do once you start playing it's your map run what you brung so I'm now going to head north follow this road all the way up past the last sale point, past the farm on the left hand side and next time I see you we're going to be heading up hopefully towards the livestock market I have sort of just skipped back here this is obviously I think um, Slierno village itself and I really do like the different sorts of buildings that are all kind of thrown in here I assume that's a little fire station yeah it looks like a fire station that's pretty cool, got another little church coming up you can just see the spire Got a little let actually I'm going to stop and have a look at this because this looks brilliant. Again, I, I can't see any gold nuggets. Maybe it's just me. They might also be in one place. Look at this. Little pond, fishing lake. Looks like somebody's always also been busy with a bit of a bit of a market garden going on here. It's really cool. There you go. someone just kicking back and doing a little bit of fishing it's really I don't know I I like this it's nice I remember watching two or three different youtubers um, doing let's plays on PG uh, PGR Brewster um, and I really like that map I like the look of it um, it's nice to have one like this I know there's a Garal Garali I always get it wrong which is another big one like this um, with this same kind of feel I get that but I um, don't know I like this and obviously all your people that work to the farm had to have somewhere to live football pitch a bit of basketball now another thing to point out is that on the map chickens are not shown as being an animal type on here but if I pull up just for the livestock market here this gate doesn't open oddly if I jump it there are chickens here now again I don't know if that's an oversight I don't know if they were supposed to be but there are definitely chickens here 
Now what I'm going to do very very quickly is speed up the time because I'm curious to see whether they're going to lay any eggs that you can collect or whether they are just simply here to look at because I don't I haven't come across either an egg cell point but there might be one dotted around there are little farmhouses dotted about all over the place so I suppose it's possible there is an egg cell point I just haven't found one yet or these are just simply here kind of for show they're not actually functional on this particular map which would be a bit odd but yeah we're skipping through bear in mind how many are here nothing's been laid so don't know a bit odd that one time is back to normal let's jump back over here again this time block the road this time now if we come just past where the chickens are we have got on the right hand side here here we go oh there we go opening inwards that's nice this is that's kind of worrying to have a livestock market this is the livestock market just here here we go so if you want to come and collect yourself with trailers etc etc this is where you come and collect all of your different types of livestock so what i haven't come across as well ah that was what was at the garden center wasn't it I went to the garden centre, showed you the cell point, and then didn't even... Where were we? Garden centre was just there. Garden centre... I was just about to say, that's weird. There's nowhere to sell your straw and hay and stuff. According to that, wood chips can be sold at the garden centre, as can all of your bale needs. That's what the cell point is at the garden centre. I should have said that when I was there. I pointed out the sell point was there, but didn't say what you could actually sell in it. So, we're going to head up now to the northeast corner of the map, where the last few sell points are. Now, this is also linked up with the railway line. So, coming up on this cluster of buildings now. If I pull in... We'll go this way first, I think. Now the triggers are quite tight, I'll, I'll be honest. You have to be kind of right on the money with it. So we've got another fuel point here. And again it says fuel in, fuel out. As far as I'm aware it's just for purchasing fuel. There is no in. And we've got here is the spinnery. So when you come to sell your wall pallets, this is where you're going to come and sell them to. This is the spinnery. If we come up around the top here, just inside that building there, this is where the eastern rail line it comes up from the main farm curls around and comes across here and this is your cell point here on the eastern tracks so this is I think this is down as Maplefield Mill this one uh, where are we? yeah Maplefield Mill scroll back across there we go so there's all the things you can sell at the Maplefield Mill now what you have also got around here is another one of these kind of storage facility type things and you've got this I don't know if this is functional I don't I don't think so I think it's just a building put here um, because there's no hazard markings and that is definitely the cell point for the train unless of course that is the cell point if you're bringing um, crops and grains and whatnot by road possibly again that's going to be another thing you just have to test out and, and see for yourself because i don't really know um whether this is just a sell point by train or whether you can sell crops by road as well so last sell point up this end we have got the bakery and the bakery is just here And your bakery cell point is inside this building, just here. I suppose this building, this bit here is the bakery, is it? Needs a big mural on the wall like that on Sosnovka. I like that. Now, before we finish off, just up in the top 
right hand corner they're very northeast on here there is forestry and as you've seen driving around the map there are trees and little copses and little you know clumps of trees dotted around all over the place but as far as forestry goes this this is the kind of the forest if you want to call it that off to the right here northeast corner it's quite bumpy and out of here but you've got little tracks that wind all over the place and little ponds and bits of water in, dispersed amongst it all but this is your well your forestry I'm destroying this pickup not a huge amount of it but there is some here that looks like that's going to get that's impressive I haven't seen the cloud before Ooh. but anyway um, there you go this is for forestry if you want to do some And that, I think, I think we're pretty much there. I don't think I've forgotten anything. Inevitably, someone will comment to say, you didn't mention this, or you forgot that, or can you tell me where such and such is. Um, what often happens as well is people will watch them either on silent, or I'm not sure, they'll be playing a game whilst watching this on another television um, and miss things. Um, that's just the way it is. I try to remember as much as I can and fit it all in. There are a lot of what ifs and maybes on this map though. A lot of the places I pointed out and said I wasn't sure if something went there or didn't go there. That is just going to be trial and error. Um, but that's it. PGR Slurno. Slurno. Oh, it's very hard to pronounce. Um, the detail is great. The textures are fantastic. Um, it's a good looking map. You know, if you're looking for wide open spaces but you don't want to do an American map, for whatever reason you don't want to do an American map, then this could be the one for you. Um, I like the fact it's got the trains on it as well. I'm not sure. Where did I see that bunker, that bunker silo? I thought before I go, I'm just going to go and check it out. Go across the railway line, just here. Yeah, just here. Now let me just put the uh, help window on. Ah, oh, now that's interesting. It's a bunker silo, but nothing's coming up with uh, chaff. There just seems to be stuff piled up in it. Maybe you want to pile manure up, or I don't know what you would want to use it for. It certainly looked like a bunker silo from the railroad, but it isn't. Never mind. follow this little track back down towards the farm bumpy as it may be and that's pretty much it from me on this first look map tour on PGR Slurno from and I want to say Voj Vojek could be Vojvek I'm not sure actually Vojek 12 and Mirio that could be Myrio um, so but anyway from those guys new to console not bad at all not bad at all i like this um if you have enjoyed this oh, i'm gonna end up going miles and miles away from the farm now if you have enjoyed this first look map tour um give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do as always thanks for watching <laughs>